Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I am back with another episode of the Hashtag 100 Day Challenge ATH, which stands for Around the House, hosted by myself and a lot of lovely participants uh, are joining me. So please check the description box for all of their links to their channels, or just type in the hashtag in the search bar and you can find all of them there. Well, before we get started on doilies, which is today's prompt, I just wanted to thank you all for being here. And most importantly, uh, for all of you returning, I appreciate you very, very much for all of your support and comments and whoa, I'm making a mess. Um, I appreciate you. And for all of you who are new, welcome. Welcome to the party. It's a fun time. So doilies, that is our prompt today. So I just have a variety of things to show you. A few I will show you how to do. Uh, but one of the things before we get into all of the paper doilies that I wanted to show you, this is for another project. So we'll just take this out for a second. I was playing. Uh, if you've been watching, you've seen that I've used that. It's called Stiffen Stuff and it's bajillion years old, but I, it works. And so I took a doily and a hanky. And this is not really, I did only did one coat. So if the more coats you do, the harder and more stiff it gets. But I just created this cute little basket to just throw little things in. Isn't that sweet? So there's a way to make, use your doilies. Not paper doilies, but so this goes back in there because these are going to be for other challenges upcoming. And then the other thing I wanted to do well, no, I think I'll do that on a separate video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now, uh, what I will tell you, the first one we're going to do is just a simple belly band. Now, this I found at a thrift store uh, maybe a year or so ago. And it's just a roll of like doily-esque paper, uh, but in a strip. So maybe they used it for like, you know, to put on the edge of... Um, a cabinet in the day. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it was just a craft item. But I thought just to break this, this is uh, one of the five cookbooks that I'm doing. I thought just to break this up, but yet keep this primary page here, we might cover this up, that we would just put this in there. And remember, this one is kind of a blue ribbon fair summertime kind of journal. So let's just... Add a little bit of doily to it, which to me kind of looks a little bit like, uh, what's it called? I want to say lace trim and that's not it, but okay. So one way to use a doily, belly band, if you have something like this, easy peasy. I'm going to set this aside to dry and we'll move on to a couple of others. So, which, oh, here's just a really easy one. This, I tried to use that stiff stuff on too. I don't know that this is, this might be an epic fail, but you could line a envelope with it, which looks really cute, but I don't know that this, this particular one's going to work because now it's hard and sticky. So if I even thought about bending it, it would not work. Um, I did take the stick off of the sticky, the glue off of there. So you could, you know, put it this all down and make this a side pocket. You could use this, uh, but that's something that you could use with it. Another really easy one is, here's our paper. And I have some coffee dyed. I think I use this to make a design. I need to roll my sleeves. I keep putting the sweatshirt back on every time I come down here because it's warm. But you could just slide this on either as just a design element uh, or you could, you know, make it into another pocket. You may want to, you know, if you don't want it to get caught on things, you might want to put something, even if it's a clear piece of uh, vellum or a piece of tracing paper, something behind it would, would be helpful. So you could put it on that way. You could put it on this way as well. On the bottom of your page. That might work. 
you know, because you're going to have a lot of other pages in between. It's short. Or you could just do it on one page and a little tuck on this one. Ba-boom, ba-boom. So there's that one. And then this one I've just taken, and this is another one that I copy dyed. I just folded it in four. And this has a lot of options. So I could sew it in just like this. So now I have little tucks that kind of just come out. I could put it in, I could cut it apart and I could glue this down so there were tucks on either side or I could put, you know, one here, another one over here, or I could wrap it around like that. And then I would have pockets, actually two, one, two. Again, I would probably suggest putting something behind it if you're gonna do that, just so it doesn't get stuck in there. Save you a little bit of a headache. So there is that. By the way, I have a lot of, I'm gonna keep this just in case I need it. I have a lot of doilies I found that um, I need to share because I will never use them all. Okay, here is another easy one. This was from uh, Tammy, my secret Santa, the, this little piece. So these were from the accident, accidental uh, experiment when we worked with markers. I had dropped the or alcohol markers. I had dropped, spilled some alcohol, and I just took this thermal roll that already had some markers scribbled on it and put it in it, and it made this beautiful design. So... It's a cool thing. That's the little video I was going to show of my happy accidents. But inside of here is just a, and this one works pretty well. You don't have to really worry too much. But all I did, let's see, do I have a, let me, I thought I had them all kind of organized. Oh, goodness. Maybe not. Where are my extras? Here we go. Hmm. We'll try this one. It's going to be pretty tiny, but well, yeah, we'll try this one. So you can just fold it up like this. Now this one's so fragile. I probably, this one I glued together. You don't, don't have to, you could make it so it's a, a tuck. Um, I did, I did check out, um, Corey Dahman had a bunch, and I think this is one she did. And I really liked it because, uh, you know, she actually put this. I'm going to try to do it with, no, I'm not. But you could tuck it inside of here, and that would be really cute. Look at this tiny little, teensy tiny little pocket. That's all you do. But now you could pop, you know, you, like, let me show you on this one. So here, you could do this. You could actually glue the bottom of this, make this a pocket, and then you could put this on and make it a belly band. So you could do that. And I suppose you could turn it around that way too. I think that that's what she said. Maybe that's how she did it. I don't remember. But I thought that was a good video. That is super cute. I don't think I'll use it for that. I'll save it because the other thing, and I have to say this kind of cracked me up, <clears throat> uh, I just did these prototypes and one of the things that I created was is what I call a Tussie Mussy. Uh, you often saw these in Victoria era and they were often silver and then they would be filled with flowers. So I just made one with um, a doily and stuck a ribbon on it and then I filled it with all kinds of little stickers and you know floral stickers now could you actually you know kind of glue the or um yeah well these are stickers but you could put them in and just have them here let me see here's one oh give me you know what I mean and make a little bouquet like that. That would be cute too. But I just made it so that you could just put a whole bunch of little flowers and you could stick it in Happy Mail or whatever you wish. So that was fun. And all you do, here, let's use this one. I Kool-Aid dyed these. 
um, just to be a little bit different. All you're doing is making it into a cone. Can't get much easier than that. There you go. Cuter than cute. I'm going to glue it down. We'll just use it for something. And that way it'll be done. It shall be done. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. What else do I have? What else do I have? I do have some heart ones. Um, well, this is only one-sided. So you could go like this, glue this down, and tuck. That would go around a page. That's kind of cute. Or you could cut it apart and use it. Or you could do it this way. Either way, that would be sweet. Uh, let's see. This one, okay, so this one, do I have a piece of tissue? I don't think I'll need one. So this one I did put, this is some of that new, like, typing tissue paper that's pink that I got. So I just kind of slapped it on there. I had to put two, two pieces on this one because it's bigger, just so that things would tuck into it. And then I just folded it up, folded it in half like that, folded it back on itself, back on itself. And now I've got a tuck and a tuck, and I can wrap this around a page. like that, or I could glue it here and glue it here, and then I just have something I could clip onto a page, and so I have a pocket, 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 pocket. Either way, easy peasy. So here, we have a green one. Let's try it with this. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying, I don't know if I can get it perfect. Let me see. Let me hold it up here. I just might not. Because see, that one's a bigger one. Let's see if I can do it this way. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we're just going for it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, so you just fold it in half. Up. Fold it in half. This way. Now you could just end it right there. And now you've got that. But if you wanted, you could fold it back again. And fold it back again. This might have to go into the 70s journal, even though this is kind of not really 70s, but it's the color scheme. So we'll put that aside. What else do we have? Oh, this, these. These I did a long time ago. So... I have a Martha Stewart punch that punches out all of these shapes. And so I did, I did a few projects with these. Uh, but these I used for a few things. Number one, I used them just like this as a design. And then I put <clears throat> an image in the center and layered it kind of up. This one's just the reverse of that. So I could put a photo in it if I wanted. Um, I don't have a photo handy. But you know what I mean. I'm looking around. Um, so you could use it as a frame. But the other thing I use these for were something really simple. And that is, here's a, two examples of that. These are made out of wallpaper. And I have three different ones. These are all from that Martha Stewart punch. And then I just, can't really see, used them as stencils. This is alcohol ink, and this is that, um, also, at the same time I got this, this is that 3M, you can hear it, it says it's non, you can't rip it, so I tried, I was trying that on there, so that's another way you can use it, this is one that I love, um, you've seen probably, I don't think I have any left, which I probably need to make some more, but the sweaters, if you will, or the um, cute little shirts I made them out. Honest, if you look at the playlist 
uh, wallpaper Wednesdays, you'll find them. Uh, but uh, it's kind of fun to make the little cardigan. You could put little ribbons on it. And this is just with a square piece of, wait, I want to go this way, of doily. These are, these are kind of cool. They're only seven inches tall and they're 12 inches long. A little cocktail. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, so you just bring it kind of to the center ish, just enough for it to kind of go over. I remember we did these two where I did zippers in them. Use the zippers all on Wallpaper Wednesday. You can find those. And then you can just pull these back. Now, what you can do is you don't have to, like this one, I pressed all the way down. Is it probably going to press down once you um, put it in a journal? Eh, quite possibly. But you could just do it. Hang on. You could just do that. I'm holding it for a second. And then you're just going to want to glue it. My nails, by the way, are a mess, just so you guys know. <laughs> I've been doing too many projects. Right onto there. And then this one will come back. And you could do the same. Now, these are pretty fragile, so these could be a couple of things you could oop, gotta hold that for a second. You could leave it open <clears throat> and glue this part down completely and make it into a belly band or a pocket. You could this one I sealed the bottom shut, so now it is a pocket, but then you could also glue all of this down and make this a belly band as well. So that one's ready to go. Easy peasy. What else do I have? Do I have anything else? I mean, you could always, like, for example, like these little guys, I could just collage with them because it's already ripped. So there's that. You know, you could use them just to add glue them right onto a page, which is probably what will happen with that. I have this one. I did nothing with it. So we could, oh, you know what? We could make we make an envelope? We could. However, let's make an envelope where we put something behind it. What if we take a piece of my... Do we have a, I was trying to find something that would be... How big is this? It's a square. What about a piece of music? Music... Oh, that's fragile. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, gosh. Look at this. I just am touching it, and it's just, it's ripping. Okay, not that one. <laughs> that's like collage business. Let's find one that might be work a little bit better. No, because then it's only one-sided. Okay, that's not going to work. Come on, Angela. Here we go. Will you fit? Oh, barely. And what does it look like behind it? It looks okay, but let's just think here for a second. And if I do this... What I could do instead, oh, there's more pages, is do this. Make this an envelope. I'm not pushing that all the way down. Eh, I don't hate it. I mean, but that's something, I'm not gonna finish this because I don't, know that that's what I really want to do, but you could do it that way. And then you could just, just cut off enough here and you could add this to here and that would be fine. 
So then you're utilizing both pages, but I'm not loving what that looks like. But what I, my point is, I think it would be best if it were covered. You could glue all of this down and just use it as a page in and of itself. It'd be fun to collage this over like a master board. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this out and this one. And the next time I collage, I will use that. So that's where that's going to go. Let's get rid of all this music. Do I have anything else? I feel like I had other things to show you. But maybe not. Oh, I have one. Do I have something I can use this with? Hang, hang on, let me put this for Jill A paper away. <clears throat> a long time ago, a long time ago, it's probably been maybe two years ago, G. Curd made these cute, she was doing all kinds of, or, like, she was on an origami kick and she did some cute things. I was in love with them, so I was making them like crazy. And she made a bunch of dresses where the dresses actually go on them. I loved it. Um, but this is something that you can do in lieu of that. Let's just do it with one of these that I printed. Because that's one of these, this is one of my, all of these are my digitals. And then I just cut them out. So, and I think Corey did this. I guess I'm positive she did. So all you're going to do is you're going to kind of put them together. And I'm not even going to fold it. And I'm just going to cut out. This is going to be her top. It's going to be that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to fold this together. Whoops. Pop on some glue. Yeah, I liked Corey. She had, I don't know, a lot of ideas. And it was helpful because uh, I've told this story, well, at least to some of my friends, but I had lost all of my doilies. I don't know what happened to them. I've said it in a video before. I, they are gone. They were gone. And so then I'm going to turn this over so you can see. Well, can you see? Can you see where I put it together? Oh, I put it together right there. There you go. And um, they were gone. They were absolutely gone. How did I do that? There we go. And so I was like, well, I must have thrown them away. So then I went on this kick where I was, I think I want her skirt to be bigger. I was just buying all kinds of doilies whenever I found them. Well, now I have so many. And I'm like, I will never, ever use that many doilies. Um, so then you can just cut this off, glue it together. So I need to do a doily D stash and share it with a, all of my live sale friends. Okay, so now we've got this. Oh, I should have, you can see that too much. See how this one, well, I don't care. It looks cute either way. So now we just stick this on. Oh, we want it this way, don't we? Well, it looks cuter. This looks more like a real dress, doesn't it? Okay, that's what we're doing. And you just pop a little bit of that on. Put a little of this here. And then what would make it look really cute if we put a little ribbon like that right over the top of it. But I didn't do that. But these would be great for the dress or, you know, for the fashion journals. Yeah. And you can just do them out of a regular doily as well. Here, let's see if we have, well, all I got left is these. Should we make a little baby one? See, this one has the most density, meaning the least amount of holes in it. So we'll just try it. So we're going to cut. We want to make sure. You know, just think about that being like the sweetheart neckline. Pop it together. Yeah, I can make these all day long. Um, but if you're so inclined, go check out Corey's video. I think she had a, a bunch of other ones. Um, and I also realized I do not 
Here, let's make her, so she has like two, a double skirt. That's what I was going to do in the last one. Uh, I do not use these as much as I should. And, you know, here I was buying all these doilies thinking I needed them. I didn't. But these little petite ones are so cute. Now we could maybe zhuzh, do a little zhuzhing. But they're very fragile, eh? And then you could put like little flowers on there. You could, oh, you know what we could do with this one? We're going to do it. Okay, then I forgot to top, take the top off. There we go. She's a tiny little thing. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, imagine. Do I have any ladies hanging about? But, hold on. I'm going to get one out. Maybe. People. Where are my people? People that aren't Tim Holtz. Oh, let's see. Do we have one that... is big enough? Not in there. Not to there. Oh, come on. Oh, here. No. Nope. These are all too tiny, these little ladies. There's some men... Here, let's see if we can do something here. So, she's a little bit bigger. Well, okay, I'm just going to do this so you can get the idea. <laughs> That's terrible. But imagine it was a larger woman. Meaning larger as in, like there. Look at her. Ha ha. Oh, her. Well, she's too tiny. Let me see. Well, maybe she'll work. Well, you get my idea. <laughs> Doesn't really work on anything that I showed you, but there you go. So those are just a few ways that you can use your doilies. Um, I've seen many people use them in other ways. Uh, I probably have not used them in that way. So, you know, if you want to know more about paper doilies and how to use them, you know, Google it. Go watch Corey's video. Um, she's lovely. So we're going to keep these for fashion. We're going to do something with these little testy mussies. So, oh, and I, so I started to say, so I was making the, I had made this one. And then this morning I watched Carol, um, Lily Rose Blue, do um, a thrift haul. And she found a book about Tussie Mussies. And so she was talking about them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so funny because I <laughs> just did made Tussie Mussies. A little bit different than, and she told the history. It was kind of fun. All right, so we need to use these in, I think this one we can use in the Shabby Chic Journal. This one we'll use in the um, avocado harvest gold and orange journal. Maybe we'll use this one in the shabby and chique. And the Christmas one, these colors aren't not gonna cut it. We'll just put this in the finished ephemera and we'll just keep it until we need it. And then I've got these we can use. This She's questionable, but I'll keep it all together so um, I can use them in the... I'll try to use them in the journals. And then these will keep at least these three for stencils. And this one... See, even look at this. Like, even doing that and then maybe putting something in it would be cute. So I'll try to use most of these in my upcoming journals because why not, right? So I hope that was helpful. If you haven't used doilies much, then give it a try. And until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.